Yo, this is EB Vlog Series, and I'm bringing you what I do during the days now that I have a better life. Better life, what's a better life? Not the nine to five life, it's the entrepreneur life, and so that's what I'm working on. I'm about to kill it out here, yo. Let me tell you about yesterday, yo. First of all, I wake up at like 5.30, I'm telling you, like, millionaires wake up before 5 o'clock, so I was dead wrong, okay? But I woke up at 5.30. I mean, definitely give yourself days where you can you wake up late. I'm just kidding. But, I mean, during your business days, during the days you're going to put in work, especially in the beginning, you need to be up before 5. We need to be up. Um, so, yeah. I woke up because I called the hotel yesterday and I was like, eh. because I bought my ticket to this convention and I'm sorry, I, I gotta get you guys in because I was telling the people yesterday and so I, I was used to starting the story off right here, but you're new people, you're new to this story so I have to start from the beginning so I apologize, but yeah. So I bought this ticket to a convention and I never got the time, like, I never got an email. I might have got a confirmation, but I never got, like, the time, the schedule, the start time, end time, the time to be there. So, what happened was, I called the hotel the night of because I'm like, I'm not going to DM them because it's like, what if they don't respond? I can get faster results like this. Oh, but I did forget, so it was like 7 p.m. Anyway, I call, and I'm like, yo, what time is the convention? And they're like, 6 a.m. I'm like, okay. So I get there at 6.30, and I'm like, you know, looking around like, did they get me? Ha, are you fooled or nah? And so I asked them, and I was like, okay, so, did anybody else ask for this event? He said, no, you're the first one. I said, okay, cool. Maybe it was just early. No more worries because you did not create me to arrive. All right. So I walk in, literally the first one there. I get the charge of my battery up. Ugh, photographers, make sure you have extra batteries. Extend those at the bottom of your camera. I need to work on that. We're gonna. I want you to help me work on that, photographers. If you're watching, um, and then that memory card. Making sure you got endless cards, or either endless cards, or you know that 128. You know. So yeah. All right, back to the store. Um, so then the person who ran it start coming up, and you know I start helping him set up. And yeah, the event got started. I end up um, recording like part of the show, but because of my memory card issue, I wasn't able to record the whole show. But, um, I mean, I said show, the convention. But, um, yo, those speakers gave some great, awesome, juicy content. Like, what can I say? Like, I definitely had to pay for the event. Um, it wasn't cheap. It's an investment in myself. It's like, do you believe in yourself or not? Um, like, and then you have to also understand that the event is not what you're paying for. Like, it's how you leave. And, like, so many people go to these events and leave all motivated. And, and you know, I got this. I'm about to do this create this schedule, got this budget in place, oh, uh, you want to partner with me, they be all, you know, on their moves, but then once they get into the, the flow of life and, you know, the um, obstacles start coming up, they, you know, rewind and, and you got to stay focused and, and continue to push because you don't even know if you're going to be alive tomorrow. Seriously. Like, um... I'm in New York and my godmother lived here and she just passed away June 12th and um, I'm walking around her home 
and I'm like, that's still there. That's still there. Let me go check this. That's still there. Like she didn't get to take anything. Do you get it? She didn't get to take anything. If you asked her where she was dying, she didn't know. It's like, we don't know. And we can't take anything. Can't bring anybody. Did she get everything checked off her bucket list? Who knows? But tomorrow's not promised. We got to do better. Like, we, like, even like with going down to sitting on the couch all day, um, I'm not talking about if you worked hard and then, well, I just said sit on the couch all day, so that means you didn't work hard. Okay. Because, you know, I have to be sensitive with you all so you guys don't reject me and lock my videos and put thumbs down. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, like, we just need to start getting up, stop being lazy. Whatever. I mean, I talk to so many people and I'm like, you got to follow your dreams. You got to follow your dreams. You know, I don't say it like that, but, you know, I give them, you know, however our relationship is, I ease it in the conversation because, you know, that's who I am. That's what I want people to strive for. And that's what I am doing now. Um, so, yeah, it's just a it's a process that we all have to go through. And I want us to get through it because we can. And this is fun, like traveling. I didn't have to tell anybody or ask anybody if I could come here. I feel like somebody's staring at me, but I'm gonna keep talking. Um, it's just like, it feels so free. Like, when you come, like they asking me, when you going back? It just, it just depends on, you know, who I talk to here and, you know, what's going on back home. I made that decision of when I was going back home. That's like, you can't beat that. So, I just wanted to come out here and say that I have 36 minutes till I need to get on the um, ferry. But I have to go get my stuff. Put my bag in the, I mean, put my clothes in a suitcase. But I did want to come make this video for you. I woke up at like 8 something this morning. I got in the house at like 1.20. Something like that. <sighs> that event was just so juicy. And then not only did we get to network with the people who bought a ticket. We got to, oh, the, the MC was lit, yo. I'm going to put his name at the bottom here because I forgot what it is. It's like Mr. NJV or something like that. I don't know, but I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen. He was lit. Hire him. Follow him if you're just, you know, like me. But if you, you know, hire people for it, MCs, he is lit. Like, he's lit. Um, but, um... Yeah, so after we got to, or well, even during lunch, we got to speak to the speakers. Like, they were so willing to speak to us. It felt so good. And um, it was just, it just felt so good. And um, I'm on the video getting some footage. And everybody's just nice and, and networking and, and just, like, perfect, like, I mean, it's in your niche when you go to conventions like that. You find people that's doing exactly what you want to do. And they're in different states. You might find out that they're in your state. Like, I found two people from my state. Um, and then you guys can network, like, build. And it's just like, you know, so it's like more than... When you, when you say investing in yourself for these events, because I, I, t I ask people, like, do they want to go to events like this? And, and even, and I ask the people that are interested in this field, obviously. Um, 
and they don't, you know, seem to work around that it's beneficial to them. But, you know, to each his own. But I'm so excited for this journey. This is EB Vlog Series, and we're out. <laughs>